Hi guys, um, I just wanted to hop on here really quick and kind of give you guys something that happened to me today. I know that it's been a while. Um, I've kind of had some stuff going on. Um, me and my husband just bought a house on 26 acres. We've been getting ourselves ready um, for stuff to happen. Um, we are preparing, I guess you could say. Um, not just as believers, but we are getting ourselves spiritually and physically, mentally ready. Uh, we're getting our home. It's really not our home. It's God's home ready for, um, you know, just whatever happens. Um, guys, I really, really, really um, want to let you know that when I was in the car today. So this is what happened to me. Um, I was in the car today. And I was driving, and we, me and my kids were going to get some groceries. And we're on our way to the store, and I am really just in the spirit. Um, we're listening to worship music. That's about all we listen to in the car and at home. Um, and I'm praying, and I am just, I'm really in prayer. And um, I'm asking God, you know, to give me the courage to have the boldness to be able to continue to spread the gospel and to not get behind and to not stray from it. Like it's been a long time since I came on here and to not get caught up in the worldly things and to stay focused on him. Because even though I spiritually know every day in my mind, it's getting closer and closer. And I see little things that God does to remind me that he's here. He's near and so I'm in prayer and I'm asking God to just be there for those that don't know Christ and to help me become bold and to share that gospel with them and to just have wisdom and the courage to be able to just get it out there and to continue to have faith. And you guys, I like right when I got done doing my prayer, I look up and I see a sign that says, Christians continue to choose to keep your faith, but not from others. And I was just like, oh my gosh, you know, thank you, God, because he literally just, you know, there you go, right there. Like, if I wasn't in prayer and I wasn't focusing on God and just really into it, I would have totally missed that sign. I wouldn't have even seen it. I It would have just been another sign, you know, like I would have been distracted because... I have my kids in the back. I'm going to the store. My mind is on other things. And sometimes, you guys, we have to stop ourselves and we have to really, really just take a minute, breathe, focus on what it is that we're living for. And yes, I have kids. I love my children and I'm living for my children, but I'm also trying to teach my children about God and worship and all the things that come with it because that's our job as parents is to teach our children that um i wouldn't say that i'm so much on a religion i'm very spiritual and i believe that if you accept god into your heart and you know he died on the cross for our sins and he rose from the dead three days ago three days sorry three days um then he knows your heart you know like he knows your heart so um that's all that matters you guys, that's all that matters. Um, I just, this is me being bold. This is me trying to step out again and continue what I believe he wants me to do. And it's just, you know, bear with me. I am not new in Christ. I am um, prayed before this that he give me the words of encouragement and to be able to say what I need to say through him. Um, so if I'm kind of all over the place, I'm just trying to really focus on what it is that I want to get out to you guys. Um, time is short. I think as Christians, he relights that flame in us. I mean, the flame never goes out, but like he not relights it. He, um, gives it more energy, you know, like our spirit just kind of comes even more alive. And um, I've already known for a long time that stuff is going to happen and things are getting worse and he wants us to prepare. And it's just, there's an urgency even more in the Christian community and the faith, you know, I mean, just, it's unbelievable what God is doing right now. And 
the enemy, you guys, he's out and he is winning right now. He is taking people, you know, um, he's, he's just, he's taking people, loved ones, kids, children, young adults, older adults. I mean, and, and people aren't getting to repent. You know, people aren't being saved. They don't know anything about Christ or the word or anything. And it's sad. It, it's sad. And, and me as a believer, I want Two people see this video, you know, if one person sees this video, like I will be happy with that just to know that my message is getting out there and I'm doing what I can do as a believer in Christ and just hope that I can save somebody. You know, guys, I, I don't want people to go to hell. I have loved ones and people that I've lost and, you know, some I am at peace with. And some I'm not. I'm more on the side of did they go to heaven or did they go to hell? You know, and I will never know until it is my time. Does it scare me? No. Do I have peace that Jesus is coming soon and I will be away from this world? Yes. Am I getting my spiritual body ready yes um you know i cleaned my closet out a long time ago uh i will be doing more cleaning and like i said um us being on this property was no accident it was god's plan it was for us um we have been making sacrifices and busting our butt so that we could get here you guys i mean we don't go out on the weekends we I, we didn't you know, and now we're still kind of, it's time to prepare. It's time to get ready, you know, get ready, get yourself right, get your mind right, spiritually right, you guys, spiritually. Pray for spiritual protection every day, your heart, your soul, to, to God, keep it away, you know, like, keep it safe from the enemy. You know, I struggle day to day, I mean with my life. There, um, there are choices that we can make, you guys. We are going up the mountain just like Jesus went up to Jerusalem. And by going up this mountain, we are fulfilling our purpose that the Lord wants for us. Are we going to watch TV or are we going to read our word? Are we going to go out on vacation or are we going to get our money and Use it for what we need to be prepared for what's about to happen. Because when the lights go out, everything that we've spent our money on, none of it's going to matter. If people aren't spending it on the right things, it's not going to matter. Prepare, you guys. Prepare your hearts. Prepare your home. Prepare your mind. Prepare your children. Don't keep your children out of it. Tell them about it. My kids know I got an eight-year-old, a three-year-old, and a one-year-old. Maybe the one-year-old doesn't know, but even the three-year-old. My three-year-old came up to me the other day, and this is not her first time saying something like this. She came up to me, you guys, and she was like, Mommy, we fly high in the sky. And I was like, really, baby? Yes, Mommy, we fly high in the sky. And I'm like, okay. And she'll say stuff all the time. She'll be like, Mommy, Jesus is coming. You know, like, she'll worship and sing and dance around. And it's it's just so pure. A pure, innocent little soul right there. Who, they know, you guys. They know. Oh, Lord. Just, we need to ask God to... Pray and forgive us for our sins and to repent, you guys, um, to try to spread the gospel out there to your loved ones. And if they are tired of listening to you, repeat it. Keep saying it. Just you look at somebody walking down, you guys, and they're either going to go heaven or hell. Think about it. I can't remember which um, woman I was watching, but I follow her and um, I love her videos. 
And um, she said something like that, similar to that. She said, you see people and you can either go to heaven or hell and you need to get out there and you need to preach the word. And she's exactly right. I mean, I was watching her and I thought, wow, you just took the words completely out of my mouth. As a Christian and, and my spirit, I was connecting with another Christian woman and her spirit. And I felt everything that she felt. Today, you guys, was just amazing. He gave me another sign. And right now he's giving me the courage and the boldness to come on here and talk about it. And show you guys what I saw. And just pray. You know, I love every one of you guys, and I pray that those that don't know God find God. And I pray for all of you that you get your heart and your minds right. And really just take the time and read your word. You know, if you catch yourself trying to watch TV, turn it off. It's a distraction. If you see you're on your phone going through Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, all those things, get off of it. Get off of it, guys. Read your word or just talk to God. Just sit in the bed and talk to him. That's you praying. Just talk to him. Tell him how your day was. Talk, talk to him like you would anybody else. Tell him your worries. Cry to him. Ask him to forgive you. I feel like I'm kind of repeating myself now, so I'm going to get off, but... I hope that I can get back on here and say more of what I need if, um, you know, something else happens to me or God gives me another urgency to get on here and speak to you guys. I, I don't do it very often. I only do it whenever I feel that God is really telling me that I need to get on and I need to say something. Um, I haven't had any dreams or really visions lately. Um, things have been kind of just quiet. Um, but in my spirit, things are on fire. And I know that something is about to happen. Um, it's not going to happen like everyone else thinks it's supposed to happen. You know, I, I talked to my mom about this stuff. And my mom said the other day that God just kind of told her spirit, like, people think they have it figured out. And people think they, you know, know when all of it's going to break down or just even talking about it. They're like, oh, you know, this has got to happen first. This has got to happen first. And she said God told her that. People think it's going to happen a certain way, and it's not. It's not going to happen how people think it's going to happen. You know, God's very powerful and mighty, you guys, and he's on his time. And he's going to come when he's ready, and he is going to make an appearance bigger than anything we have ever seen in our lives. And it is going to be the most amazing, beautiful thing we have ever seen for those that believe and know that they are saved and have him in their hearts. And for the ones that don't, they are going to be terrified. And they are going to be just blown away. You're either for Christ or you're not, you guys. And that's it. There's no in between. I just pray right now. I pray, God, to you that you lift people up and put your spirit into them, Lord. And give them the courage and boldness to be able to come out and start preaching and saying the gospel and things that you are giving them, Father. I ask that you forgive them for their sins, Lord, and continue to show them the right way. God, I pray that you put your hands over each and every body and you just spiritually heal them. Father, give them spiritual protection from the enemy. Protect their hearts, their minds, and their souls. God, I just pray that... You pray for our president, Lord. I pray that you be there for him as he is in a position right now um, that he is spiritually being attacked. And I just pray that you be with him, Father. And I pray that you be with our nation, our world. And I just, God, I pray for all those babies that are getting killed. And I just, Lord, I pray for what's about to happen to us. I do. I pray what's about to happen to our nation. And ask all this in your holy name, Jesus. In Jesus' name that I pray. Amen. Guys, I hope you have a blessed night and a, a blessed day tomorrow. Don't forget, daylight savings. And um, 
Until next time.